Hi guys, Josh here from the Cornerstone Pizzeria. We're just gonna go over our Cornerstone at home kits. This is the way they come presented with your dairy, your gluten, and your best before dates. Three days on all of them. This is Sonny, my sidekick. He's gonna help along today. So the easiest way to get her open is by using the knife cut through. Perfect. So we have our three cheeses, our two doughs, our two sauces, and our dusting flour. The most important part of it all is the dusting flour. You have to use this correctly. So let's roll. So the first action is to put a bit of dusting flour down because dough is sticky and it will stick, isn't that right? Yep. So what do you reckon? Is that enough for you? Yep. Okay. And we give you loads because you will end up using loads of it. So it's easier to come in these bags. These are all food safe bags. They're used for penny sweets and butcher bags and all that kind of carry on. A little sticky at the start, yeah. but obviously straight into the flour. Leave her sit. Flip her over, roll her around. Top, bottom. You'll see it, the dome on the top of it is kind of important. So start from the center, pressing out the air. The whole theory is, is to get the air from the center into the crust to give yourself that nice puffed crust. Keep going buddy, keep going, you're doing a good job. So the next movement, we call it the steering wheel. So we pull her up, you ready to roll? Yep. Pull her up. Hand over hand. Now if you don't feel comfortable with that, you can also just leave it down and move her like this. Now the theory is, is just keep spreading her out. Vitally important to maintain the crust and not press it too much. So if you want to really have a go off it, draw her up and twist her on your knuckles. This is a different technique and this is a technique that we would use all the time in the shop. Quite difficult to learn to master, but you get there, you know, it's it's Obviously, we've been at it for a long time, so it's becoming second nature, or it is second nature even. So, when you're at home, it's important to not take it too far. Know your size of your baking tray, know the size of your oven, all of that. Carry on, make sure that it's all clean and good. Let's roll. So, place her down. Here's your sauce, here's my sauce. Spoons. Simple enough, in the shop we use ladle. At home, you obviously mightn't have a ladle or whatever, but a, a spoon will just do as well. well. A little bit in the center, however much you feel. I feel that that's enough for me, what you feel. Yeah, that's yeah, you're good. So set it to the side. We always give you excess um, pizza sauce, guys, because it tastes good and it can be used for multiple things. So let's start with the center and work her out. Keep it as close or as far away from the crust as you particularly prefer. Now, next we're going to put on our cheese. Yep. This is uh, our diced cheese that we use in the shop all the time. Real good, good burn rate. Doesn't blacken very quickly and tastes pretty good. For us, all into the hand. Turn and pull. I know the spread is important, you know. It's important to roll it like that. Not the way Sonny just do it, but I look what can you do. That's the way it goes. That's half of the fun of all of this stuff. <laughs> however much you want or however little you want. Personally, I'm a big cheese guy, so lots of it. Now, I feel that that's enough, but I give you enough to do a little bit more if you want it. You know, we give you an extra bit. So here, the moving of it, the sliding, that lets you know that it's not going to stick, that there's enough flour underneath it to keep it rolling, you know? Straight shot into the oven, guys. I max my flour to 40, and then I drop it down to two. It's important to put the pizza on the bottom of the oven, because that is where it's hot, so you're wanting to mimic the stone of the wood-fired oven. Okay, so straight in. Hey, now do you want to put yours in? Yep. Good man. Second rack, perfect stuff. Happy days. So in there now, guys, for between 11 and 14 minutes, depending on your oven, fan assisted or not. But just always keep an eye on it, you know, it's quite important to just make sure that it works, you know, yeah. And absolutely, and that's the part, that's the process of it. If you keep an eye on it, you see it grow, you see it bubble, you see it move. So guys, we've had them in for pushing on about 12 minutes now. We're going to pull them out, have a look at them, see if they're where we want them to be. Oh, so your one's coming out first, sonny boy. Yeah. Look at that bad boy. How do you think you went with that? It's good. You think it's all right? You enjoy that? Looks good. Yeah. Okay, and this is my one. Whoa. There you go guys, you know, a little bit of colour on the back end of it, could probably do it a little bit more, but I ain't too bad, it's definitely baked through. Happy day, let's get her off onto the plate. Again, take it to as far as you want to be, you know, if you want a little bit more 
crispy then leave it in for another couple of minutes if you want a little less done pull her out but important a good way to test is the crunch you know when you press the crust and the crunches that means she's ready to roll so guys thank you very much for watching the video we hope you will learn from it and make your own pizzas at home these kits are available through neighborhood food and through the pizzeria thank you all have a good one happy pizza